Whoa, what is that? Is that four? Is that a four I see? Did I not say it was going to drop down a four? Now you are posed with a question. What are you going to do? Are you going to have diamond hands? Are you going to panic sell? Are you going to jump out? Or are you going to buy more amp? Okay, so we're going to come over here to this video. Keep watching. By the end of this video, you will know what I uh, would do. And you can be, you know, maybe base that on what you would do and stuff like that. Okay, <clears throat> for some, this is horrible news and for others this is awesome okay so watch this look the doge of amp says thinking long term not short term like when you lift you expect to get that great body in three to five years not in a month hmm three to five years sounds familiar like when i tell you when uh when to expect the roi on startup investments okay <clears throat> Some people say seven to 10 years. Some people say five to seven years, but most people expect to get a ROI on a startup investment in at least three to five years. Remember what I told you guys to start considering when you are purchasing from these cryptocurrencies. You need to remember that these are literally new companies. Majority of them are new companies, which is also known as a startup company. So you have to give them time to work out their roadmap. You have to give them time to work out their, their partnerships and everything like that. You can't expect it to be an overnight success just because you see a lot of uh, uh, hype coins and everything like that. Also, I wanted to say something. Flexa partnered with Starbucks now, let's F and go. Okay, they have a gazillion partnerships and we know that leverage is awesome and it can take you from one place to like another, like super, super quick, you know what I'm saying? But we don't want to just get obsessed with just partnerships. I, I told you guys what we're going to need. We're going to need people to hold. We're going to need people with diamond hands, of course, but we're also going to need usage. So you guys need to start using a Flexa network. You say, David, well, where the heck do I use a Flexa network at? Uh, well, I like this guys. Diamond Hands Empire, I will never stop holding until AMP makes me a millionaire. Uh, most people have the right mindset. Look, it's not gonna kill you to hold. It's not gonna kill you. I told you guys what to do. Like if you really trying to make money and you just need immediate money, do that with the crap coins. I can give you some crap coins if you want them, Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, uh, any of those Shibas and Doges, uh, Shark Crypto, Baby Shark Crypto, Porn Rocket, Cum Rocket, little stuff like that that has no purpose or meaning behind it, but it's just a hype coin. So then we got a guy right here that says, I'm done with this coin. We only have a few months left of this bull market. I understand the long-term potential, but I'm trying to maximize my gains before the crypto market tops out. Okay, so guess what, guys? <clears throat> I did a video yesterday and it was talking about the tokens or the cryptocurrencies that were considered as crap coins in 2017, which one of them was Tron, one of them was EOS, one of them was Bitcoin Cash. But if you go over there and you look at them right now and see what they're worth and what people are buying into them, you will see that it's years later. Was it four years later? And they're killing it, dude. Like they're killing it. So I don't care if the crypto market tops out this year. I don't care if if you about to miss the, uh, the you know, the bull run and everything. Who cares? Guess what? This is called a long term investment. It will come back around. It will definitely get back to five. It will definitely get back to six. And when implementation is full force, when you guys are holding instead of panicking and saying you're done with this coin, when you guys hold on and actually make moves and start using the Flexa network and everything, then that is when the coins will pump. That's when all of these cryptocurrencies will. When we start using them, the, the formula to make anything valuable, it doesn't matter what it is. If it's a toy, a lot of you guys have been tricked with your collector's items and Star Wars and games and all that dumb bull stuff or, or, or classic cars that you just park in a garage and it makes you look stupid. That's idolatry. The only way something can look valuable is if it's being used. My favorite shoes are valuable to me because I use them. 
You guys understand what I'm saying? That's the only way to make sure something is you. You can hold it. Yes, that helps. Like it, it shows value when everybody is, you know, bearish and, and panic selling and jumping off the cliff and everything when you hold a cryptocurrency. But if also you are in an area where let's go right here, where the payment is accepted. If you're in an area that has a Barnes and Nobles, Bed Bath and Beyond, GameStop, Lowe's, Nordstrom, Office Depot, Whole Foods Market. If you're in an area with any of them, you know what I'm saying? then you you can live okay then we got uh sheets i know you guys go to whole foods i know you go to petco some of you guys go to crate and barrel you know what i'm saying definitely your chicks might go to bed bath and beyond so so do you guys understand like this is how you pump the token this is how you pump it this is how you let people know that it's worth something You're like okay look the flex network is making moves we keep talking about the partnerships but we don't do any business with the partnerships i'm guilty too man I'm guilty too. When I go somewhere, the first thought isn't to say, you know what? I'm not going to pay with cash. I'm going to pay with the Flexer app. That's not the thing. But my point is you either hold and support that way or you use it. If you're not going to use it, then hold. Then hold. But you can't sit here and whine and say, hey, man, I'm done with this coin. But look, everybody got their own, you know, opinion of what they want to do and all of that. That's on you, man. I'll just say that. But if the people that invested into Amazon dipped out throughout the years, then they would not be billionaires right now. And I'm not talking about Jeff Bezos. I'm talking about his investors, the people that believed in him throughout all those years. It was way more than, oh, I need to maximize my gains before the crypto market tops out. It was years, like over 15 years before any of their investors had any type of profit or even broke even, man. And we sitting here complaining off a, a few months or a year or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. We got to be grownups. You know, these are startup companies. These are people that are, you know, just getting out the gates. You know, and there's a whole crap load of competition out there. You know, Flex is making moves that others aren't. Alchemy is making moves that others aren't. But they have to play out. You know what I'm saying? Like, people have to start using a currency in order for it to be considered a currency. All right, you guys understand what I'm saying? If you're new to the channel, do a Jet Li sidekick to the like button.